this exhibition here is going to tell you about 20 now Matter for I see Bank of Sierra Leone. I see there's no faces on it. Interesting. So the cotton tree that's outside of here that we're gonna go look at has been there since 1787. What does this represent? These are the It's like erasing our people. Boom! What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Joannis or Joe Hatagua. I'm a Sierra Leonean American living in Accra, Ghana. And if you want to know about the history of the icons in Sierra Leone, then this is a video for you. All right, cool. So today we're heading to the Sierra Leone National Museum where I'm going to show you the exhibit that they have. It's called the Icons Exhibit. We'll get the opportunity to walk through a number of different icons from Sierra Leone and really get a chance to hear about who they are or who they were, what they did in Sierra Leone, and how it shaped the country to where it is today. Everyone from the person who actually built the National Museum to all the different presidents and the coups and everything that happened. What's a really interesting story that I learned was that the current president of Sierra Leone actually was part of a coup that overthrew another president previously. And so he was actually installed as part of that cabinet way back then, and now he's back as president now. So that was a really interesting factoid that I learned. So let me give you a little bit more about what the Icons exhibit is. It's a creative effort by two Sierra Leoneans, Akindele Decker, who was a poet and a writer, and Adrian Labor, who was a civil engineer and a history enthusiast. And so the illustrations are the works of Samantha Everett, who's an artist and a photographer. So what they were doing was drawing inspiration and research from the community scholars and historians who have chronicled the history of Sierra Leone. So the primary aim was to curate a collection of creative works showcasing iconic people who shaped history in Sierra Leone and around the world. A key objective was to make these icons available, especially to young people, so that they can celebrate and be inspired by the achievements of these icons and appreciate the impact that they've made. So this is the first edition with well-known and lesser-known individuals across various disciplines that were showcased. There are going to be other exhibitions to follow that will highlight specific disciplines, all together exhibiting the important role Sierra Leone and Sierra Leoneans have played throughout history. So this icon series is great for individual schools, libraries, museums, and other institutions, not just Sierra Leone, but anywhere where history can be appreciated. Okay guys, so before we get into the tour, I do just wanna go through a few names and people that were highlighted um, during the Sierra Leone icons exhibit, but may not have been discussed in more detail in this particular video. So the day I went was actually the last day of the icons exhibit, and we actually had an intern who had just been there for the last two weeks, walking us through the history and all of these different people. So he had not had enough time to really get a deep understanding of who they all were. And so we had to skip past a few people. And so what I'd like to do now is put the spotlight on a few people that were shown in this exhibit, but we may not have really done a deep dive into who they were and what it was that they did. So let's get right into it. So first we have Sengbe Pie, also known as Joseph Sinke and sometimes referred to as just Sinke. He was a West African man of the Mende people who led the revolt of many Africans on the Spanish slave ship Le Amistad. If you remember the movie Amistad, this movie revolved around him. Jamin Huntsu played this character. So after the ship was taken into custody by the United States Revenue Cutter Service, Sinke and his fellow Americans were eventually tried for mutiny and killing officers on the ship in a case known as the United States versus the Amistad. This reached the U.S. Supreme Court, where Sinke and his fellow Americans were found to have rightfully defended themselves from being enslaved through the illegal Atlantic slave trade and were released. So 35 of them were actually able to be returned back to Sierra Leone. So the next person highlighted was Dr. Sylvester Hector Willoughby Nicole, CMG, or pen name Abiose Nicole, who actually died in 1994, was a Sierra Leonean Creole academic. He was a diplomat, he was a physician, he was a writer and a poet. He was able to secure degrees in arts and science and commercial disciplines, and he contributed to science, history, and literature. 
Nicole was the first African to graduate with first class honors from the University of Cambridge. And he was also the first African elected as a fellow of the College of Cambridge University. Davidson Nicole also contributed to medical science when he was the first to analyze the breakdown of insulin in the human body, a discovery in which was a breakthrough in treatment for diabetes. Next, you have Baramiyoko, Queen of Seneo. So Marayoko or Mamiyoko, who actually died in 1906, was a leader of the Mende people in Sierra Leone. Combining advantageous lineage, shrewd marriage choices, and the power afforded her from the secret Sende society, Yoko became a leader of considerable influence. She expanded the Mende kingdom, and at the time of her death, she was the ruler of the vast Mende uh, confederacy. There were actually 20 icons in total that were highlighted through this particular exhibit. We're not going to go through each and every one of them here today, but if you are interested in learning more about them, there is a book that was written called The 20 Icons Who Shaped Sierra Leone, and they have a few other editions that they've made that you can find at the link in the description. So with that... Let's check it out. All right, so we're here at the Sierra Leone Museum, the National Museum. We're about to go look at the Icons exhibit, so check it out. This is the coming of this Blue Day International Airport. The mm -hmm. coming of the Queen of Sierra Leone. That was the 25th, uh, April 1961. Mm -hmm. That time when the Queen entered Sierra Leone, for many young colonized. Mm -hmm. Well, he entered Sierra Leone on the 25th, what happened the process transfer of power we made a free will on that end that's what that happened on the 26th april 27 sorry 27 april 1961. if you go now traditionally we see we have power to the, the first prime minister owner albert mandai this exhibition here is to tell you about 20 now matter for your pilots this now the first paramount chief in the south and province mm. in yes, that is the bond island. This now, woman will be you don't be a teacher, it happened for my to be to be a, a headmaster of the school. Later, I'm to young dog, he end up become a paramount chief in that particular area. It's a bond island at the southern provinces. Yes. Because it's not the man, and this would know a history about the the about Africa, let me say, Africa mm. in general. He can tell you a detailed history about Mali Empire. I know, say, during these days, Mali Empire covered this area. Right. The one that you are seeing at the back is the founder of the Bundo Society. So the Radisson Blue, if you see, it says Mamayoko. So it has two names. So before the Radisson Blue took over, it was called the Mamayoko, and it was based on her. So Mamayoko. And this is a transfer of power during that time. Mm -hmm. The transfer of power normally, it occur midnight between the 26 and the 27. Mm -hmm. you know, the transfer of power to our first prime minister mid-20, I mean, uh, midnight by 12 o'clock. That, that was the time when the transfer of power. That's why we normally celebrate our independence the 27th April 1960. And so that's why the 26th of this year was the 60th year anniversary. Right, exactly. right? So, so he's the founder of this, the, the National Museum, Museum yes, Sierra Leone. Yes, in Sierra Leone. So he has uh, been the gynecologist from from uh, in Sierra Leone, mm -hmm. a doctor. She was coming from up country. So people appreciate it for the good work we don't do offline. So what happened? They collect some anti-facts. But at that time he was interested in culture that comes in making of the museum. That we first made the museum at the British Council. Yes. But later now, with the help of the first prime minister, then you know, been and I am as a, a monument. So this been there since what, 1967? Yes. Or 1960, was it 1964, something like that? Right? This one. This, this National Museum. You say, you say from the, the help of the Prime Minister? Yes. Right? That way before my course, mm -hmm. I think this comes to be there. Okay. That was this year, 1972. Okay. The later on, it's as fine as National Museum. Yes. And that go, and the pioneer in this on fashion, this unbelievable fashion. Yeah. And people also promote fashion. Where they knew it at the international world. This and the pioneer is this in Islam. You know, you know, you do this with all your fathers normally come and spread Islam. Christianity. Yeah. So you see, it was a trader. So you see, based on the things people do, he decided to broadcast Islam. Mm. So there comes the spreading of Islam across the Galio. What's that come up? This come up from the, the, the Guinea. Guinea, come yes. on, Guinea. Yes. So you see. 
they are from say, they spread Islam abroad to the provinces. Because the provinces they normally believe in society, they don't they don't believe in Islam and like they believe in worshiping adults. Mm-hmm. And so you can find in society, the 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 poor society, they believe in those things, they believe in those idols. When they have to do their agricultural family, they normally consult their doctors, mm-hmm. which doctor eh, to tell them the outcome. They like the shall brothers believe in their great master. I forget the, the name of their god. They, they believe uh, I forget the name of their god. Mm-hmm. So if you go there, we see the, 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 the master they believe. They consult him to tell them about the outcome of the sea right. before going to for, 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 for fishing. So due to the intervention of this man, is I was uh, preaching the word of God, some people start accepting Islam. They also start to say that no, there is no need for to worship sea. Because they normally who can take this food under the bottom tree mm-hmm. as a form of what appreciating the gods for the good work. First elected president in the Republic of Syria, after Seka Stephen, Pastor Uba. And the first man this ever in Syria who voted as the president to become the president, the legal president of the Republic of Syria. Mm-hmm. Later on, due to Saga, Madabio, and Stansa, as you can see them. Hmm? Captain Slancer and Mada and Mada, the current president of the Republic of Syria, they have to forget to overthrow this man. Later, Mada also went up to overthrow Slancer and they even escort him to Guinea, go to other people in the say. Comes in Pakaba, Alaji Ahmed Jan Kaba, and now the second elected president in Syria. Yeah, he comes again, Paul Kuhuma, he also overthrew Pakaba, and then he then take his staff there and then he stayed again Pakaba. Hmm. But nobody knows about the way forward of uh, Paul Kuhuma. Either he passed away or still alive, nobody knows. By Bure is the man that fought the hot tax war in Sierra Leone. Mm. Because he was against the British. Because the British was tell, they are telling they, they are telling his own people to pay tax for his hot and also for the land he owned. He was saying, How can I pay a tax when I'm the owner of the land and also I built my hot? You are foreigners. I'm a citizen of this country. By right, they're supposed to pay tax to him. Mm-hmm. So he was stood, stood against them. But later on, his own people betrayed him. Mm-hmm. He was taken to Ghana for two years. Later, he was brought back to Kassiri, put over the state. He was state again as a current, I mean, as the, uh, the paramount chief at that time. The man who affects Ebola, who died 2014 during Ebola time. Oh, Dr. Khan. Yeah. Khan. Mm. These two overthrew Momo. Momo. Yes. This guy here. Yes. Okay, so so. Well, he, this one was the leader at that time. So he was the leader. Yes. And then Bio overthrew. Yes, the second man to Strasa. Yeah, so Bio was like leader. almost like the vice president, yes, head of state. He overthrew Strasa. Right, and then due there was the another pressure, coup. Due to the pressure of the Western world, Pakaba came in. Okay, come that's what comes in peace before election or election before peace. That's the application of arms. Uh, okay, yes. so then there was another coup where yes. Koroma took over, and then he left, and yes. then Kaba came back in 2007. African icons, the African, African icons, Africa. I see Kwame and Kroma down that, don't ya? Yes, Bunt Island. It doesn't look like that anymore. No, this is Yes, I mean, go that side. This one, you they take boats, like the sea coach. You can take sea coach away on that. So these are all very powerful women in the past. Oh, the Chief Justice. This one, for the Muslims. This one is meant for prayer. This one is to protest for virginity. There's a needle and bitter cola inside. The needle and thread is used for stitch whenever the husband's clothes, cloth or trousers tear out. And the bitter color represents bitterness, not all the time the married have to be sweet. Mm. So this one is test for virginity. The woman happened to be virgin, the family, that family have to be. Even when? Sure. Let me close this. So on the $1,000 bill, he's on the $1,000 bill. 
Sir so Milton Magai, first Prime Minister of Sierra Leone. Did you get this one, Prime Minister? Months. You got us for two months. I see Bank of Sierra Leone. I see there's no faces on it. Interesting. So the cotton tree that's outside of here that we're going to go look at has been there since 1787. This is a meeting point where you slaves and other business people normally come and sit and rest. What does this represent? These are the slave people, eh? Mm, it's like erasing our people. Elephant tusk. This nuts are to show. And it's this it's basically the outline of Sierra Leone. Now the current president. Founder of the museum. Fishing pot. Okay, so you catch the fish inside. Yeah,